Hi to everyone, I made a small video, a short test inspired by one talented guy, I put a link into the description to his profile and this is made in Cinema 4D and I got some requests in Instagram to show the breakdown or maybe a tutorial about this. First of all, I want to present you the overall technique of doing this and then I will show you the scene. Let's start. I will take from the final scene the camera and this cosmetic bottle. So drop to new scene, change the aspect ratio. So just a simple move of cosmetic bottle from one side to another. I need to make a kind of floor and there is added a collide attack on the body of this eye lifting bottle. I disable for now and we need to make this type of particles, I guess. I create a um, platonic primitive with a really small radius put it into the cloner and made a huge amount of these elements, decreasing the first step value, maybe to something higher than radius. Let's keep one, no intersection. And I duplicate maybe for less smaller one. Point four and one a little bit bigger. Rename. Drop it a few of them. Set clones mode from iterate to random. Increase quantity. And here the first trick. If we would be playing with this huge field made of dynamic elements, the cinema will crash or simulation time will take a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. The simulation will take a lot of time. So we need to optimize this thing. First of all, we need to plan where our dynamic would be taking and working. So decreasing to this small path, you see? Immediately, the performance of viewport is increased. Setting to multi instance or to render instance doesn't matter in this particular case. And this short way path, I don't know how to call it. Increasing count in vertical, going, put it up. On plane, I think we can apply our collider and simulation rigid body. Hitting play. It takes some time to think, to pre-calculate, and then the magic should be happen. Should be happening, I guess. And waiting for a few seconds and then engine will start to work and we should see the highly promote force and speed of GPU acceleration. Yeah, we got some. I think not very fast. So I decrease the quantity. Going here, decrease, maybe to something like 200, maybe one in vertical. Let me disable dynamic for now to get the final position of our bottle like this and maybe two three or maybe four elements should be okay enabling our gpu back and hitting play this should increase the speed of calculation because we don't have seven layers in vertical slice and a short amount 
of elements. Yeah, you see that performance is a bit higher. I do like this. Result going back, decreasing, disabling the dynamic and maybe decreasing some in the width because the less particles engine should calculate the more easier and faster it will be maybe 160 because we don't see this part and we need some gap from the left right and the top maybe 150 or even 130 1 or 0 yeah pretty nice now we can go and enable the collider and check the result you see higher speed because we didn't enable the dynamic tag hitting play something is pre-calculating each time but you see that we have higher fps than it was we got our cosmetic bottle coming closer to what we have here and we should have and see the interaction of this even before it gets to this render region and yes there is some interaction great thing is happening and we have this path and trail but we have some extra extra gap going back decreasing from 4 to 2 just to test going to dynamic collision decreasing thickness to something like lower and one more thing i would like to simulate uh, granular behavior so every part should be stick to another element and i increasing stickness to something like maybe 110 it depends on the scale and on your setup and i don't have any stickness on the ground so they won't be sticky with this floor only with each other going back setting and you see that now we have only 60 to 4 to 140 and at much lower quantity of the cloners than if we would be using all this field so optimizing is a great thing here testing and we get another behavior because this brick will be more like solid because they would tend to stick to each other to get the shape you see it's not like falling to the side and we get the stickness effect immediately now we don't have gap between simulation and we get some maybe granular elements and different behavior that's the main trick Here I made some trick, so I got this collider plane and I made one more just for our rendering and put it in Y maybe to 1. And in final result I got another settings of particles so they don't disappear. Let's go to the final scene because there are some nuances here. There is a bigger scale of particles. I have a boolean static shape, you don't need to do this, because I was planning to fill all this space with granules, but then I changed my mind, but keep this wall, floor and this cage. Then I have this, of course, eye lifting bottle with collider tag, and now the great thing that I have, the dynamic thing. This short path, you see the scale is much bigger. The plane that is hiding these elements. Of course, the, the, there was a test, 
so if you need to spend more time and increase maybe control d simulation uh, fidelity and accuracy you may up sub steps in direction iterations so you won't lose any particles they would be pushed by this collider but it was a small test that's why i faked the floor and we have the the same animation and the trick is that we have a static elements these black ones are colliders so they are trying to mix with main shape main cloners that are having the dynamic on it other elements are fakes to simulate the full feel of our area but there is no any dynamic you see we need to optimize the simulation and there is some trick and interact intersection to hide the border between cloners but at the final result we almost don't see the borders here but at the beginning we see some so of course one more time i would like to say that it was a really fast test i think maybe 40 minutes so i didn't have time to figure out and fix all these elements you can if you have free time uh, then i have some lot applied oh it didn't catch here didn't upload and bloom effect to get this beautiful glow i have only two lights let me lock the camera disable and disable one is spotlight with very low spread value and of course we had a lot of dark so we need to make a counter side area light to light everything up but not very bright to kill the shadows going back to camera and let me open the materials materials are very simple just bright brown i think with high roughness for every let me check where it's applied to all these seats elements clones you can name it as you want the standard material with a bit of i think subsurface i thought it would bring some life to our plastic and the most complex thing as we can say this is this i'm joking not complex thing these flakes this trail part i was planning with displacement just a little bit a very small let me hide the particles very small i think it's not noticeable here the flakes there is i think some bug yeah there should be some noise let me increase the scale 10 so yeah one should be a very small scaled noise i got flakes some problem with apr and you see that it shows the out normal so we need to connect directly out flakes black and white just to metalness to get these speculars on different zones and these flakes the same almost the same settings maybe a bit higher scale that goes to bump and solo this and we get this interesting look with some granular feeling the small details because if i disable the metalness it would have another type of look we still get the specular so normals are doing fine here but i decided to add maybe some metalness here too so that's all the aesthetic thing the dynamic part the trail part and very simple light setup i hope you get some ideas about working with this rbg 
simulation in Cinema 4D. It has some flaws, but now we can simulate a huge cloner count elements with pretty decent performance. Hope you like it. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye.